Hi friends, I have uploaded one video how to publish a research paper in Elsewhere journal and I got very good appreciation for that and I have uploaded one more video on how to publish a research paper in Springer journal I got uh, same type of appreciation and same type of comments for that YouTube video also now based on the comments I found that the main the basic question asked by so many researchers are what is what is meant by open access journal and how it will be published and kindly uh, tell me some of the uh, journals which have less cost for publication and all these things so frankly speaking to publish a very good paper to publish in a very good journal it doesn't cost it should not cost anything actually this is the research means it should be free you you need to provide the research freely and you need to publish the research freely and everything should be free you the reviewing thing should be free and everything should be free but the problem is con the problem of continuing and maintaining some journals they are taking money okay we should not bother about those things so let us keep them aside but always the good things are free so to write a very good research paper it's free to publish a very good research paper it is also free now i would like to tell you how how we can publish a research paper in csir nis cair so this is the one part of indian government so let me explain how we can see the content of it and what is meant by open access and all those things so these are the one of the best publisher i mean uh, we can say this is the part of indian government we may not say that it's publisher it will give you the free access i mean free access of all all journal papers and it will give you a open access for your paper if you publish the paper in these journals let us see how these what are the different areas it can cover and what is meant by csir and what is what are the background of this part of indian government let's go ahead with csir csir means the council of scientific and industrial research so this was established by the government of india in september 1942 as an autonomous body that has emerged as the largest research and development organization so this is basically the biggest research and development organization or in the organization in india and csir has a dynamic network of 38 national laboratories 39 outreach centers three innovation complexes and five units so it is a very big entity of r and d organization so this is the this is number one institute in india from the indian government where r and d activities have been going on maybe some research grants have been given to different researchers and they are maintaining some 38 national laboratories to do the research and 39 outreach centers to do the research and three innovative complexes and five different units of it and csir's r&d expertise and experience is embedded in about 4600 active scientists supported by about 8000 scientific and technical personnel actually these are the number of people working under csir actually they have they are recruiting the scientists for these laboratories and some supporting scientific and technical supporting persons for those scientists so this is one of the one of the best research r and d centers in the throw the world and this comes from india okay next this is one of the parts in csir this is called nis cair this is national institute of science communication and information resources this is located in new delhi india so it was founded in 2002 so this is actually a information science institute uh, where how the information will be stored and how it will be everything will be handed out by this by this nis ca ir 
so it operates under the umbrella of CSIR okay and that completes 38 other labs also so the institute provides the associateship in information science degree okay they will provide this degree associateship in this degree so that they will provide you money to get this degree and also publishes several academic journals and magazines so previously these academic journals and magazines are not online so they come uh, with hard copies only they are very good for for the people who are accessible to these things by hard copy manner that means we need to purchase that by paying some amount to get the hard copy and transport everything just like uh, monthly journals and weekly journals and how we are getting them but there is no online facility for these things but now it has come to a very good platform that we get online facility for these things also we can send the journals online even we can uh, publish the journals online and our papers will be online only you can see the papers also so this is how it is working on so let's go ahead and uh, how what good we can get it from this and it has so many journals these are the list of journals and magazines and repository it has uh, around uh, 18 journals and 3 magazines and when one repository so let's see all these things one by one and uh, which journal is very good popular and what impact factor of those journals and all these things will be discussed in this video let's go to our uh, let's go to the internet google chrome and let's see how they are working and all those things yeah this is the website for niscair online periodicals repository so this is the online periodicals repository so where we can put all all our published journals have will be available in these links okay these are the journals 18 journals are there sorry 19 journals are there so these are the journal names ALIS, AIR, BVAAP, IJBB so these are the different journals for example if this is the journal of science and industrial research JSIR like this there are so many 18 journals here this is science key dunia so this is the magazine even SR is also science, science reporter this is also a magazine and VP is also magazine Vignan Pragati and this is the repository natural products and resources repository and this is the steps how we can publish any of these journals online submission of articles and these are the publications price list that means this is not for publication charge and publication fees this is the if you want to get them as hard copy you need to pay some amount no that's that amount is here and this is the contact us and this is face feedback and how these things will be so in this way they have maintained a very nice website for this so let's see and uh, what good we can do out of it so i want to uh, highlight only the journals which are having some good impact factors okay let's see what are those so the first one is this Indian Journal of Biochemicals and Biophysics. So this is the journal uh, where the impact factor is 0.357. As per my knowledge is concerned, if impact factor is there, definitely those should be come. They, those may come under SCIA journals. So these are these are very highly impacted journals. So see the impact factor is 0.357, and this is a bi-monthly journal. Yes, uh, I am from electrical and electronics engineering specialization. I can't comment on the impact factor of this because uh, as per our knowledge is concerned, whatever may be the impact factor, that's good only because in electrical engineering, there are very less journals are there. And so obviously if impact factor is there, that will be the best journal only for, as for our own knowledge is concerned. So this impact factor is 0.357. And this is published by monthly and you can check all these things ISSN numbers and all these things in your 
known sources may be in web of science and whatever it may be you can, wherever you want to check it you can check it so this is one of the journals let's move on to the other journal from this category yeah indian journal of chemistry section b ijc b so the impact factor is 0.509 so more impact factor compared to the previous one and they publish monthly so this is very good option for chemistry people so chemistry and some allied research specializations also so they can publish in this and the next one is yeah indian journal of chemical technology ijct so the impact factor is 0.614 okay this is also maybe very good journal and the next one is indian journal of experimental biology the impact factor is 0.934 somewhat good and this is also monthly journal this is my bi monthly journal and the impact factor is 0.794 yes this is indian journal of fiber and textile research the impact factor is 0.511 and the next one is indian journal of geo marine sciences ijms it is also monthly journal and the impact factor is 0.301 yeah indian journal of pure and applied physics and the impact factor is 0.822 it is also a monthly journal yeah this is indian journal of traditional knowledge ijtk and the impact factor is 0.92 this is quarterly journal and the next one is indian journal of scientific and industrial research so this is monthly journal so its impact factor is 0.735 so indian journal of biotechnology ijbt it is quarterly journal and its impact factor is 0.343 so in this way the, i have selected only the journals which have impact factors so you can see whatever you want see let me show you one journal this is journal of scientific and industrial research and here all journals are like this only so this this is the repository so 2020 there are three publications i mean it's a monthly journal so it should be one one journal or uh, one issue for each month so we have three months here you can see this yeah this is this is these are the three months here collections from the month wise and we can see the authors list also by author also we can see here similarly subject so by seeing these subjects you can send the papers okay uh, of course it, it's very uh, precise subjects for example it's machine learning if you come from uh, maybe computer science department maybe from some other area of specialization maybe cyber cybernetics or maybe cyber security or maybe some other other specialization also you can send the paper to this journal okay as yes, this is very specific as yes, we are mentioning the index no so those things they have given directly so it's very specific so you can you can send what and you can send and you can communicate with that no problem no issue at all and let us see let me show you one paper here that means uh, what an open access is so we can access here See these are the contents. Now oh, let me take the second paper. Yeah, this is the paper. So if you click here, you will get the paper. I guess. Let me see. Yeah, here you can see view and open. So so it will be directly open here. So this is the beauty of open access. That means the without paying any amount to this concerned publisher or the company or the society we are getting the paper as a open source so this is called open access and the beauty of this journal is even they won't charge any amount to make it 
to make your paper as open access. If you are an author, you no need to pay any amount to make your paper as open access. So it's free, it's completely free zender. It won't take any amount for the publication, it won't take any amount for free access also. So this is these are the one of the best journals what I can refer to you. So in this way, we, our paper will be published. So it's very good only even the paper style is also very good and it is also very simple. Its style is very simple. You, you can go ahead with um, those things, manuscript and designing and all those things. So it's very simple introduction and methods and materials are there and you can go directly go to conclusion also. It's very simple. But unfortunately, it will take around one year. See, in almost all journals, it will take much time only. So don't worry about it as you are going, as you are communicating with very good high impacted journal and you are communicating with open access journal. Okay, please keep this thing in your mind. Open access concept is very, very, very good concept. If you communicate with very good, highly reputed and highly published or uh, highly impact factor journal also if that is not open open access that impact is somewhat less compared to open access journal because to make very good citations for your paper that paper should be open access that means everybody can see the paper so that they can see they can read they can use they can implement your work or they can implement they can improve your work also so in that manner they can your paper will be utilized in that manner your paper will be cited cited accordingly so that you will get good number of citations of course the good use of your paper so please uh, if you if you are wish just go ahead with this this is a very good journal So with this information, I hope I have cleared all the doubts what our viewers or what our subscribers have asked in the previous two videos. So with this, I can conclude my video. So in this video, we have, we have simply seen the CSIR NIS NI. C A okay let me see and tell you yeah. N I S C A I R National Institute of Science Communication and Information Resources. So with this, this is the entity of government of India who published some journals and where I have shown some of the journals which have impact factors. So definitely they are good journals only. So you just go through them and you just read the other other papers of those journals. You can utilize the information of the information in each and every journal and try to publish your paper in these journals so that yes, this is the free access journal. So definitely you will get a good benefit out of it. Okay. Still you have any doubts and still I have any I have missed anything out of it and if I have commit any mistake please write in the comment box so that we can rectify them and we can recheck all those things okay no issue at all so I hope I have given you the much expertise on these things CSIR NIS CAIR online periodicals repository and thank you so much for your kind patience to listening this video and please like this video and share this video with your friends and peer researchers and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed till date so with this i am concluding this video thank you thank you very much